Hey, howdy guys, Connor McCaskill here with Armando from Mondo Bites. That's right, so today we're actually filming a video for Armando right now. Armando, what are we filming for you? So we're gonna be comparing the iPhone 12 Pro to the R5. You know, phone cameras have gotten really good, in particular, the iPhone, and we wanna see if you can really tell the difference between two. And if you wanna see that comparison, check out the channel. Yeah, so I'll have his video linked down below and probably annotated up above, so make sure you check that out. But for myself, I'm actually going to be testing out all the different video features on the iPhone 12 Pro and really see if it replaces the need for a camera in most cases, especially when it comes to simple stuff like vlogging. So without any further ado, I'm just gonna go around and shoot all the different video modes on the iPhone 12 Pro and see how well it performs. Let's do it. So one thing about the iPhone that does bother me a little bit is that I do feel like it tends to overexpose, especially with photos, but they actually do have this really cool feature where if you touch on the left side of the screen if you're in landscape mode or on the top of the screen if you're in portrait mode, there's a little arrow and you touch that and then you get actually access to exposure compensation, uh, which is really cool. So I tend to like to go either one stop under or maybe uh, like 0 0.7, 0 0.3, uh, just whatever's underneath the normal exposure of the iPhone because I feel like that typically in my opinion looks a little bit better than what iPhone typically tends to go towards which in my opinion is overexposed. Okay Armando, so we're <laughs> halfway through kind of shooting the videos. We're about to scoot out of Santa Monica and head over to Venice Beach, right? Can I just say something really quick? Yeah, please do. We are being backlit right now by the sun. Yeah. There's no there's no light in front of us and it looks per I mean from here. Yeah. It looks great. I know. It's that stupid AI, artificial intelligence that's doing some major wonders when it comes to exposure. That's probably the best feature about iPhone. Let's I would not say. forget that this is the front facing camera. Yes. I know, yeah, yeah, this isn't the better camera. In fact, if I want to, we can switch over to the back-facing camera. This is actually the wide camera. <laughs> so I really should have no worries about us being in the no. frame, which is pretty gnarly. Yeah, you could just look at the lens and you know that it's you're basically going to be in the shot. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like the GoPro, you know, where you just kind of hold it out and you just pretty much know yep. everything you need. And probably some extra stuff. I don't know, you might be able to even see the microphone <laughs> up here, uh, but it looks really, really good. Something that Armando and I were talking about is that the setup time on an iPhone is nothing. Nope. You just start shooting immediately. There's no, there's nothing to set up. You don't have to exchange your white balance, you know, to change. So you don't ever miss a shot, basically. You basically just press record and you're ready to go. So we're in Venice now. Uh, we just filmed a bunch of cool skateboarders, so probably already played that for you guys, but this is going to be an audio test. So right now I am recording on the Movo microphone using the little Lightning 2 um, 3.5 millimeter jack, I almost <laughs> forgot the name, uh, adapter. The dongle. The dongle. So uh, this is with the microphone and then I'm gonna unplug it and then talk to you guys without it and then we can see how it compares. Okay, so now I am recording without the microphone. This is the internal microphones on the iPhone 12 Pro. I am actually curious for myself to even hear how this sounds in comparison, uh, but you guys let me know down below which one sounds better. What do you think? Dude, it, the mo was gonna blow it yeah, out of the water. Yeah, the mo was gonna just destroy it. Okay, so we've now moved on to Pasadena and we picked up a new guy. Hi, hey, welcome. It's Dave Mays, if you don't know, which you should know. Uh, but anyways, we're doing some night tests now and this is the front facing camera at night. I can already see on the screen that maybe it's a little bit noisy, uh, but that's to be expected. So I'll go ahead and flip it around to the other camera and see how that compares. Okay, so I've now switched over to the rear camera. This should in theory look significantly better 
than the front facing camera, the selfie camera. Uh, but you guys tell me, what do you guys think? Do you think it makes that much of a difference? Yeah. Hi. Look We're both wearing the same Fuji Juice hat. Yeah. Represent uh, Zach Mayfield. That's right. If you want to pick up one of these hats <laughs> yourself, which I know you do, because Fuji Juice is all the rage these days. Then become friends with Zach and That's shoot right. a video for him. That's all you got to do, shoot then, a video. And then he'll send it to you for free. That's right. Or just use the link down below. Yeah. Fuji Juice is here. Hey, Editing Connor here. I'm gonna talk to you guys about some of the things that I've discovered now that I've been looking at the video footage in an actual computer, in an actual editor. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is the fact that the night video is really bad. And not just on the selfie camera, it's bad on the rear camera as well. It's pretty noisy, it's super muddy. Overall, it's just not appealing at all. But the biggest and most glaring issue that I saw was definitely the flaring. These are two issues that were on the iPhone 11 Pro. And I don't know, I was just kind of expecting it to be better. And technically it is better than the 11 Pro, but I wanted it to be significantly better. So the night videography on iPhone seems to be more or less non-existent, at least with the 12 Pro. I haven't used the 12 Pro Max, although I do have a friend with a 12 Pro Max, so maybe I can play around with that later. But in terms of the iPhone 12 Pro as a whole, I'm definitely impressed with it. I do think that it is a viable camera to use. I just don't think that it's still good enough to replace my Fujifilm camera, uh, at least for me. I don't I don't foresee myself negating bringing a camera to use my iPhone unless I'm just filming like an Instagram story or something like that. Um, if you are, however, in the position where all you have is an iPhone 12 Pro and you can't afford to get a camera on top of the phone, it is a thing that you can use to create really cool content. You're just gonna have to be okay with the drawbacks and kind of plan around those things and maybe don't shoot at night or if you do shoot at night, shoot with a lot of external light just to kind of help out the small sensor that's inside of that iPhone 12 Pro. But anyways, guys, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I hope that you got something out of it. Hope you have a fantastic week. And as always, thanks for hanging.